Family, AC here, and I'm with Annette Holliman, my partner. I wanted to just come to you guys and bring you a short video and get you guys caught up with some things that are going on here and also um, have Annette touch on the Sacred Women's Conference event that's coming up in less than two weeks, October 8th. So, Annette, why don't you just share with the family some things that are going on with that? Greetings, family. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Sunday evening. And just want to give you some information about the Sacred Women's Conference. There's only 12 seats left. So if you um, intend on attending, please make sure you get registered. Because once the 12 seats are gone, we will be closing it out. But a lot of good things coming down the pike as far as training during the Women's Conference. And the one thing I wanted to talk about today is that intentions. You know, we set a lot of intentions, similar to us doing the end of the year where we start off with the New Year's resolution. And my question is, we all have good intentions, we have resolutions, but how often do we follow through once we set those intentions? And if we're going to set the intention, then what is the plan that you're accountable because intentions are not set for someone else the intention should be set for something for yourself and so my question would be are you setting intentions for everybody else or are you working on unconditional love for yourself because nothing can change outside of ourselves if we don't change inside first mm -hmm. and for society especially for women we've been taught to take care of everybody else take care of the family we have all these labels and at the end of the day as women who are we really when you take the labels away when you take the title away what do we have left and so the workshop is going to help you deal with that to understand who who am I really? Why am I here? And do I love myself enough to make the changes that I need to make to do what's best for me so that when I fill my own cup up, the overflow will give to everybody else. But how can I give from an empty vessel? And so we're going to deal with that very deeply at the conference. We're going to deal with purpose. A lot of people are searching for purpose. But what is a purpose? If you don't know what that is, then how can you set your purpose? And so I challenge the ladies as they prepare for the conference to think about those things, to come with those questions in their mind. Because energetically, what's needed of the group is what's going to come forth. But I also want to tell the gentlemen, we haven't forgotten about you, but we have to start with the core. And we as women give the life. And so we have things coming forward for men. We have things coming for our young people. But right now, we want to start with the women, the givers of life so that they can make a change within themselves. You make a change within, change is going to be without, outside self. That's some, that's some deep stuff. And, you know, if you guys have been following us since the beginning, you, you'll find that we're real into self, dealing with the inner self, because that's where it all starts. And a lot of us walk around feeling empty because we are latched on to what we see outside of ourselves. And so some of our beliefs come from other people. Some of the things that we do come from other people and we lose the identity within ourselves or we go the other way, which is even something deeper. We feel nothing for ourselves. We feel depressed. We don't feel we're good enough. We're lacking self-confidence. All these things go back to self. And as Annette was talking about setting the intention, People are good at setting them, but they let things get in the way, like complaining, blaming, and justifying. And once you do that, you stay stuck. So a lot of the work we're going to be doing, starting with the Sacred Women's Conference event, 
It's going to be dealing with the individual. We're going to be coming with other things like meditation, Reiki, and other courses and other trainings and teachings going into 2017 designed to help you, the individual, get better within because it's not about you changing the world. If we work on our just changing ourselves individually, the byproduct of the world being changed will happen by default. So that's really the theme of what we're going to be doing moving forward. So, Annette, anything before we close out? I just challenge everyone that's listening. Family, I challenge you to discover you. Discover what it means to love you. Because until you take a look inside, and stay in there, not go inside and run back out, but stay inside. Take a few minutes, 15, 20 minutes, every single day, and spend time with you. We spend time with everything else. We spend enough time on our jobs with everything else. But now I'm challenging you to spend time with you. Be quiet. Get away from all the noise, even if you have to lock yourself in the bathroom. Just take that time and just be with you because that's the only way you're going to discover who you are is by being with you. You're absolutely right. Well, guys, all the information is going to be at the bottom of the link for you to register. There's only 12 spots left. Um, don't worry about what the counter is saying because we've had people pay cash, buy cash, and we haven't updated the system. So once the 12 tickets are sold, bam, we're done. It's a wrap. So make sure that you... Uh, click on the link and get registered. And in closing, I just feel this is fitting. It just came to me. Uh, thanks, guys. Um, those are my people talking to me. <laughs> um, but I remember reading in the book Conversations with God, and there was a statement in there that, that has been very profound in my life, and it goes like this. If you go within, you'll never be without. So I want you guys to really think about that, okay? So love and respect, and we look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.